How's it going guys? My name is Michelle and uh, welcome to another tutorial from uh, Django for Noobs. So today we're going to learn about uh, third party authentication, preferably Facebook login. If you want to uh, include a Facebook login uh, in your projects, you can do it with uh, this third party app called Django All Out. So I googled the uh, I googled Django All Out and uh, came to this GitHub repository. You can check it out if you want. Um, so what we're gonna do is I already have a project set up over here. The project name is FB Login, and I created an application called Alpha. So if you go down over here, you'll see that there's a documentation link. You we click on that. We click on installation, and over here, if you've ever used um, pip, um, you're gonna know it's pretty simple. Just go to terminal and copy and paste this command and hit enter. Pip install Django all out will install Django all out in, on your system. Next, what you need to do is go to settings.py um, of your project. It's so basically uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow this um, documentation. That's basically it. There's no complication in this um, application. So over here, let's say for Django 1.7, now we're running Django 1.8. So for Django 1.8, we're going to have to go to the templates block. In the back end should be this, 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 blah, blah, blah. Okay, just let's just find our templates block. So you see the back end is already Django templates, and um, they have Django template context processors request uh, inside the context processor. It's already there. So we don't need to do anything over here. Going down, they have authentication backends. So we copy it and we paste it over here. See that there's a number of red lines, so let's just get rid of those and that's it save and get back in the installed application install apps you need to copy these four lines so this includes contrib general contrib sites and the all of that application right and then we need to include one more line for Facebook you see this third-party application uh, supports a number of third-party logins from Amazon to Facebook to Google I think they've got Google they've got Evernote yeah they've got Google and GitHub and everything so we're just going to use Facebook so we're going to copy this line and paste it over here and save and finally we need to copy this variable site ID equals to one. It's very important. Okay. Let's go to URLs.py and copy and paste this. So we're going to the project URL, not the application URL. And that's about it. Now we do manage the py migrate. So we go to terminal, type manage the py migrate. There you go. Now they're telling us to visit the local host 8000 admin. Okay, so we don't have a project running, so now it's gonna work if you refresh. Right, we don't have any uh, super user created, so we're gonna go to terminal and we're gonna create create super user. I'm gonna call it admin. There you go. So now we're gonna use this credentials to log in you can see that there are a number of um, new tables created like this two uh, this one and this three so that's because of the um, Django all out application and this one is for the Django contrib sites so now we're gonna do it what we're gonna do is add a site for your domain matching settings dot site ID okay so we're gonna add a site matching settings dot site ID we see over here that the site ID is one so we're gonna add a site <coughs> so before we add that um, let me just show you there's already one example.com site added and as you know uh, by default this is going to contain the ID of one so if we add another one that's gonna be site ID number two so then we're gonna have to change over here we're gonna have to replace one with two we're gonna have to write two over here but as we already have site ID one over here so what we're gonna do we're gonna edit this so the domain will be localhost 8000 and display name can be anything let's say fb login right 
So now this localhost 8000 has site ID 1. <coughs> Number 2 for each OAuth base provided at a social app, social account app. Okay, so we're going to have to go to home and add a social application. So it's currently empty, so we're going to say add social application. Select the provider Facebook. We name it, let's say, AFB app. Now the client ID and secret key, these two you're going to have to... Uh, find from your developer account. So let's go to Facebook. Let's log in with uh, this. And we're going to go to developers.facebook.com. I, I already have an application created from before. You can add a new application and uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, if you don't know how to do it, just search for a YouTube video that's going to teach you how to create an application. So I'm going to go inside this already created application and you see that they've provided me with an app ID and app secret. This app ID is uh, the client ID. See over here, they say it's app ID or consumer key or whatever. So I'm going to copy this app ID and I'm going to paste it over here. Now the secret key is the API secret, this one, the app secret. Now this is basically like a password, so if you click show, it's going to show you and you obviously know this password now so after this tutorial I'm going to reset it so I don't know how you can use it to um, do any harm but yeah now over here the local local host we're going to add it to the chosen sites right then we're going to hit save uh, keep in mind that our chosen site is localhost column 8000 so we're going to have to go to our application settings and we're going to have to make sure that the site URL is the same. It's HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon 8000. So yeah, if these two are the same. I'm pretty sure it's going to work now. So now let's log out. Okay, let's log out and um, try and figure out whether I'm missing something. I guess not. Um, so you see over here the... Django application is running, so my login uh, URL is accounts slash login. Uh oh, by the way, if you want to check out what kind of URLs do you have available from the accounts application, so you just go to accounts and then they're going to show you you have sign up, login, log out, password change, password set, inactive, email, confirm email, lots of stuff. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to login, right? And then ask, ask for username or password for the Django, like uh, you remember I created the admin user. So I can use those credentials over here and log in, or I can log in with Facebook. So let me just click on Facebook, but before that, let's log out from here. So let's click Facebook, and it's gonna take you to a Facebook login. Now you log in again, okay. Now uh, it's there. Now you're logged in. Now it shows that um, after you logged in, you land in accounts slash profile. So let's see if we can change that login. I think it's login uh, redirect URL. I think that's it. Uh, I set it to profile. Uh, Let's see if it works. So I said login redirect redirect URL to profile. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna log out and see if it works. So sign up, right? So now let's go to login and let's hit Facebook. Yeah, now you see you're you've been redirected to profile. Now this is your own custom URL. You can add this URL over here, or you can create uh, you can add this URL on this alpha application and uh, you know hook it to a view and then that that's going to show over here uh, you can create a sign out um, URL where users can click and sign out and um, you can use this account slash logout you can use this URL on that um, hyperlink so that you know because you, you don't have to you don't have to um, Create the login, logout, and whatnot. You don't have to create anything anymore. This this application is pretty 
uh, pretty comprehensive. So yeah, I guess uh, I'm not I'm not I don't feel like creating uh, creating a view right now and showing you how to do that. It's pretty simple. I'm sure you can do it by yourself. And uh, if you still have any question, you can ask me in the comment section. And uh, I'm gonna provide the source code. Uh, there's basically nothing <laughs> over here, so I'm not sure. Oh, uh, maybe I will. Anyway, so that's about it. Um, I'm gonna provide the source code uh, in the video description. It's gonna be a GitHub link. So that's about it, guys. Um, enjoy your third-party login, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe. Bye.